I'm Dr. Michelle Stafford at World of Smiles Pediatric Dentistry and today we're going to be demonstrating the application of silver diamine fluoride. First we'll cover our patient with a patient bib to protect his shirt. Then I'll take a look. Open big for me. Good job. And I see cavities. Oh no! On the upper left teeth. Oh no! Let's get them! So first we're going to take some Vaseline and apply it to his face in order to protect his face from any kind of staining. And then we'll do some brushing, get off any food debris that's present. Good job. You're doing so great. Hello. All right, and then we'll use a mouth prop in order to keep his mouth nice and open. And a triangle so we can keep that area isolated. And then you can use a air water in order to dry it or a two by two. And we'll use some super floss since we are addressing an interproximal cavity. And then we'll use a micro brush with some silver diamine fluoride to apply it to the super floss in the area of the cavity. Perfect. Good job. And then we'll go back and forth a little bit with the super floss in order to get the cavity area in there. Get that bacteria. You do want to be careful because of the staining potential. Good work. And now we have to wait one minute. Do, 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 and after one minute has passed, we take out the super floss and apply and dry off any excess with that two by two. And then apply a layer of fluoride varnish to lock it in. And then when we're done, in order to minimize the staining, it's good to have everything in your glove and wrap it all up in your glove right away to minimize any of that silver diamine fluoride touching anything. And there is how we do an application of silver diamine fluoride.